Hi everyone, today I would like to film my finale for my Finish 7 by Spring Project PN Challenge and um, you might remember from my last update that I only had one product left and um, for starters let me just go over the products I have finished and actually already moved out of my um, space already because I ended up really throwing those out didn't want to keep it around for too long because um, there is enough product that is laying around at the moment and on top of that I have um, many many stacks of books that I just need for upcoming exams and um, all of that so I just wanted to move as much out as I could and um, I had finished up previously my Mac I call in I get no kick this was a limited edition product from about 2012 the um, um, New Year's Eve kind of um, um, Christmas collection. So um, I think it was 2011 going into 2012. And it was a champagne shimmery shade, which I really only used as my waterline shade to brighten up my eye, to look more awake. And it did a good job at that, but I'm glad I had moved this out of my collection because MAC is not cruelty free. Then I also used up my MAC Paint Pot in Nuga. This was another um, limited edition product, with, um, which um, was just a paint pot in a creamy, slightly shimmery shade. And um, it was a bit darker than my skin tone, but I could make it work. And I'm glad that I have moved this one out of my collection. In fact, I'm trying to move as many of my um, cream shadows out of my collection as I can this year um, as well. So that is now done. Then I finished another foundation. It was my Revlon Photo Remedy foundation in 001 Ivory. This was um, the last foundation I had that was not cruelty free, so I'm very happy this is out of my collection. It, this is a foundation that I am very glad I don't have anymore because even if Revlon ended up um, going cruelty free, the Photo Ready foundation just did not work with my skin type anymore. I know I used to like this quite a bit which is why I actually um, had repurchased it. But um, I think um, either my skin type changed a bit more or something else um, just doesn't work for me anymore. Maybe it's just more experience with different um, foundation types, but it is not a foundation I would recommend for people with combination oily skin. Then I had used up my Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Bourbon. This is a shimmery warm brown tone. I absolutely love this. I have a backup already, but I needed to move this out of my collection because the Bourbon shade is a um, eyeliner that I've had for so long and I accidentally bought the backup, so I wanted to move this out a bit quicker. I also had finished off my Wet n Wild Pressed Powder in the shade Fair. This is a powder I really like a lot and I would definitely repurchase it. At the moment, I can't because um, the store that um, carried Wet n Wild products in my area um, closed down unfortunately so um, it is no longer easily accessible to me but I know that in the future I will take another look at Wet n Wild pressed powders. And then I also finished off my Alberti hair oil with um, almond and argan oil. I like this a lot and um, it is cruelty free, I believe it's also vegan if I remember correctly. But um, I've had this around for so long, I just wanted to move the last bit out of my, um, my um, bathroom and my collection because I had a um, fluid for the tips of my hair that I wanted to use up. And um, as I was only focusing on the um, hair oil, I was completely neglecting the um, fluid for the tips of my hair. So this being gone now, I can now work on the other product. But it is a product I would certainly repurchase. And then the last product is my Aster Soft Sensation Lip Color Butter. Aster is not cruelty free either and um, I made quite some progress. Um, I hope you can see my lines right here. So up here I have two lines. This was very lim little progress at first. But then I made a lot of progress all of a sudden and now this was what I had left since the last update. And I am very happy to say that this is completely used up. What you can see left here is the plastic tip up top. There is nothing that, um, no product that comes off on my lips anymore. If I manage to get a little bit of the product to come off on my lips, it automatically scrapes away again with the plastic part, with the stopper. So this is now finally done and I am very happy about this. So 
this is one more product out of my collection and um, this is also the last product that was in my Finish 7 by Spring. So um, I'm quite excited about that. I hope that the temperatures now will also go more into spring-like temperatures because the last few weeks um, were still quite cold. And um, I really am ready for spring and more spring, springy colors, I guess. Because this was very nude and um, it is nice, but yeah, it's time for color, I believe. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, I would appreciate it if you left me a thumbs up, maybe comment down below even. And um, if you haven't done so yet, um, please subscribe because I am doing my project pans over the year. And um, I am also um, still working on the um, reviews that I, I um, talked about um, in the last week. The thing is that I just want to really have the time to sit down and at the moment with um, my MA thesis I just think I'm a bit too busy that um, I don't really have the energy to focus on filming this um, properly. Yeah. So um, yeah. I hope you will have a great weekend and I will see you guys soon. Bye!